Hello and welcome to the Terminal Demo Series. I'm Hannah with Lightning Labs, and this is the first video in a series where we'll be walking through using Terminal, your all-in-one node management tool from health checks to auto fees to loop, pool, and more. In this first video, we'll install the Lightning Terminal daemon, LitD, and we'll connect to Terminal on the web. But remember that LitD is a bundle that includes loop, pool, Faraday, taproot assets, and LND if you'd like. You can also run LitD next to an existing LND node. So this gives us a number of different ways in which we can install LitD. If you'd like to install LitD in integrated mode with me, which means with LND, if you'd like to do that from binaries, well, you can go watch the speed run video, which walks you through that process. Also, if you'd like to install LitD again in integrated mode with LND, but do it from source, well, you can go watch the launch with LitD video from the TAPD demo series and links to all these videos and all the other resources we discuss are in the description for this video. All right. But here in this video, we'll be installing LitD from source, but using it in remote mode. Um, as I already have a server, a LND server up and running on this node. So over here, this is my existing LND node, which I have up and running and we'll be installing LitD on this alongside LND. Cool. So let's go through a few notes um, before we start the installation process. Um, we'll need to have, as we're installing this from source, we'll need to have recent versions of both Golang and Node on uh, your machine. So again, Ubuntu server, this is, it has an existing LND testnet node. So we'll start by check, taking a look at what our current Go version is. And okay, we have 1.21.3, which as of recording is uh, the very, uh, I'm not sure it's quite the latest, but it's a new version. We'll also check out what version of Node we got. And we have 21.5, which I think is the latest as of recording. Cool. So now we have what we need. Let's take a quick look at what is currently running on this machine. Using my favorite command here. Again, this is a testnet node of mine. So I test all kinds of things here. and I've got all sorts of stuff running, but we can take a look at the relevant things for us today. And that is we have a Bitcoin D backend running and we have an existing LND node, but you know, we do not yet have a lit D process running here. Cool. So first thing we're going to do uh, is clone the repo. So this is a lightning labs uh, re repo and it's just lightning dash terminal. And we're going to clone that and head on in there and check out the latest version. So as of recording, this version here, 0.12.2 alpha is our latest. So we're gonna check that out. And then it's a very, very simple make install. And that'll only take a few minutes, but I'll fast forward it for you. Okay, and we're back. It only took a couple of minutes, but now we have lit D. So let's just go out here and take a look at it. Cool. There we go. We can see that it is installed. It's also another thing I want to do here is we want to check one setting in our lit D or our LND config file to make sure that it's going to cooperate uh, with lit D. So let's just go have a look. It should be a dot LND, LND.conf. Excellent. And this is exactly what we're looking for. RPC middleware enabled true. So we have that. We're all set. Cool. All right. Now, at this point, we could just start up LitD using uh, just setting a, a UI password. Let's clear this out. There we go. We could use a command looking like this, and we could start LitD and run it right now. But I prefer to set up a config file and a systemd service so that it's a bit more robust. If that node, if this node restarts um, at 2 a.m., I know everything's going to come back up and start working again. So let's go ahead and set that up. What I'm going to do first is make a dot lit directory. Uh, a data directory 
for um, lit D. Cool. So we're going to make that directory. And we're going to head in there. Oops. Let's try that again. There we go. And we're going to make a config file just called lit.conf. Cool. And let's go add some stuff to it. So here I'm going to copy and paste in a lit D configuration file and we will talk through it. Cool. All right. So first of all, we are noting that lit D, um, LND is running uh, remote, right? So this is from lit D's perspective. We already have an LND node on this machine. So that LND is remote to lit D. And in a sec here, we'll see we give it some information to make sure it knows how to connect to LND. Couple more really important things. We are running on testnet. So we need to make sure lit D knows that. Otherwise, we might get weird macaroon errors and all you know, various other issues. All right, we want to set a UI password. Obviously, if you're doing this on a production machine, you want to set a much, much better password than this. These next three lines are just telling us how to, telling lit D how to talk to LND. It's all the standard stuff, you know, the default stuff, you know, this is the port that it's talking on. This is where to find the admin macaroon. Note again that we're using the testnet path because we're running on testnets and it needs to know how to get to the TLS cert. Also, we're adding this line, HTTPS listen, um, and we're asking LitD to listen on this port so that we can access the UI um, on this machine here. And we'll demonstrate that uh, towards the end of the video. Cool. So this all looks good. Now we're going to go create a systemd file. So let's do this. Cool. We'll come down here and we're going to create the file. We're going to call it litd.service. Awesome. And then I'm going to copy and paste in a uh, litd system D config file here and we'll have a quick look at it. Cool. So let's start at the top. Um, we have a description, you know, lit D lightning terminal daemon. Um, this requires LND and we, so we want to start up after LND starts up. Um, this is where it will find that program. Also with lit D, I add this little extra command there. Um, both the user and group are Ubuntu, type simple, restart always, give it a couple minutes, and wanted uh, by multi-user multi target. So pretty basic stuff, nothing too fancy in there. We'll save that. And then we have to do our systemd stuff and enable that service. And we use this command here to do that. Awesome. And then let's try and start it up and see what happens. Cool. And then I'll run this again, run my favorite command, and we'll see if we can now see that process and see if we can see a lit D listening on that port we listed in the config file. Excellent. There it is. So mission accomplished. We've got uh, lit D running on this machine and it's all set up with a configuration file and on system D. But before we go, we'd like to also demo how you can use lit D that's now running on this machine to connect to terminal on the web. So first thing we'll do is we'll need to note, you know, the IP address of this machine or domain name, whoever you're connecting to it and that port that you set in the config file, and then we'll go have a look at it. And here you can see, because uh, we have not set a domain or a cert, um, we're getting this error because we're just demoing this on testnet. This is fine. I'm going to go ahead and proceed. Well, and then we need our password. This is the password we set in that config file. And ta-da! We can see here we have this UI, which has all kinds of functionality. But in this series, we're going to demonstrate um, using this functionality while connected to terminal on the web.
So what we can do is come here and connect, uh, push this button, and that'll help us connect to Terminal on the web. Now you can, we've made a couple of videos on how this connection process works. It uses LNC, Lightning Node Connect, and I have this nice graphic here to show you, right? We have LND and LitD running on this machine. We're gonna use LNC here via this mailbox to connect to Terminal. That's all we're going to talk, or that's all we're gonna say about this connection process in this video. You can watch the other videos if you're curious as to how that works. But we can watch it all happen here when we just push this button. Awesome, look at that. So this drops in our 10 word pairing phrase. Now this is a one-time use pairing phrase, but you know, you don't wanna broadcast it to the internet still. Let's generally not do that. All right, so let's connect. We'll set a password. Again, you want this to be pretty secure. Don't need to save that. And here we go. We're connected. You can check it out. This is the name of this particular testnet node. L402s are fun because they are. But before we go, I'll also demonstrate how to connect um, if you just want to generate that string on the command line rather than via the UI. So let's disconnect from here. All right, so we can close out of this and we're just gonna stay here at terminal.lightning.engineering and we'll log in in a moment. But first we're gonna go back to our machine and via the command line, we're going to generate that connection string. So let's clean this up a little bit. And then we'll have a look at this command. We're using the litd CLI. Again, we have to note that we're on the test net. We're going to add a session, just giving it the label of default and type admin, although there are many other types you could use as well. Cool. And here we go. We have our connection string. Again, something that you would generally not broadcast to the internet. But here, it's fine, just demoing. Cool, we'll enter our connection phrase and connect. Awesome, and we'll once again set a password. And there you go, two different ways to connect to a terminal on the web. Awesome. All right, so let's just recap what we've done today. We've installed a Lightning Terminal Daemon, LitD. Um, and remember, this is a bundle that includes Terminal, Loop, Pool, Faraday, Taproot Assets, and LND if you'd like. Um, you can also run LitD next to an existing node, which we have done here. Um, and again, all of the links to the things we discussed are in the description. And as always, you can check out docs.lightning.engineering for more info. Thanks.